They ain't worried about nothing right now. Count grams, stack of bands on the man right now. Crew bad bitches around me right now. Right now, right now, right now. What's up, y'all? It's 10 o'clock, no dots, aka XOCND, man, and I'm here in the stool with my baby, bro, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Man, to the what it do, world? It's the wild lover, the young stunner, Tay Merck. Tip, we in the building. One's up. You hey, know? One's up, 1,000, all that, man. Shay Merck, man. We were just sitting here before we started this and just talk about so much that you've been through, man. How is Shay Merck doing, man? What's going on? How is life for Shay Merck right life now, Life has been great, man. I came a long way in two years. Like, everybody asked me, how long you been doing? I told them just 2012, man. It's just, when you know you want something... Ain't nothing to do but to go straight to it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had to go around a bunch of amateur for what I want to do. I just knew early this is what I want to do, and I went hard at it. And an important thing that I want y'all to know: this young man is 24 years old, man. He's a rapper. He's a producer. He's an engineer, man. He's doing it all, man. Like, okay, let's just take it back to the back story, man. You started back in 2012, man. What made you want to start rapping? Man, a little, let's, let's take a little bit further. Now, I say I started about 2010, so I was 11. Um, I had cousins that rap. You know what I'm saying? I always been the type of dude. I want to see people do better. I'm gonna put people in a better place. I always been put in position and was able to make stuff happen. So, because position I was in, I bought the equipment and you know what I'm saying learning to do that for them but you know what I'm saying everybody focus ain't, ain't always where you want it to be you know what I'm saying you can't live somebody else's dream for them so they kind of fell back and I'm left with this equipment so I'm left rapping now I end up getting a job at another studio off the engineering and I end up I went through some hard times through that point in time like before 2012 started where I end up you know what I'm saying fucking a bunch of money and becoming homeless so pewter studios fuck oh yeah me. so I moved into the studio and at night time it wasn't nothing else to do but rap so that's why I came to the pasture like, all right, fuck, I got this in front of me. I'm just like, all right, this, let's see if we can take this to the next level. And started going hard. And every day I just get more love for the, for the shit I do. I just go harder with it, man. I think that's tough, man. And I'm glad you just said that because I damn sure ain't never know that. You ain't never tell yeah, me that. Yeah, yeah. I just live in peace. be my man. You got to tell me stuff yeah. before you tell it on camera. But hey, it's exclusive. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at people know that. Around 2011, you know what I'm saying? 2012, I was fucked up. I was living up town in the studio. Mm -hmm. All right, but with that being said, man, you said this started back in 2010, 2011, now, mm -hmm. right? We're down to 2014. Explain to people the focus that you have had starting from day, from day one all the way to now and how important it is to have that focus for what you do. I mean, it was a gradual process for 2012 when I came out and started doing open mics on Georgia Ave at Island Cafe. Shout out to Sleep, which he gave me my first opportunity to realize I started performing. And I, I built like big bonds up there, just going out there every Monday and every other night at the different open mics, just building up that just building up that brand. Let them know Che Merck in the building. And that's what I like to do. It's what I'm going to do every day and I ain't going to stop doing this. Because a lot of people I came into the game with 2012 12 who just ain't here right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This ain't what they this is what they thought they wanted to do. This ain't what they really want to do. When I wake up every day, so myself, I thank God that He blessed me to wake up for one and two to be able to get to what I want to do. I think it's a, I think it's a blessing in itself for you to be 24 years old and to have that relationship with yourself and with God. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To even have that man and like. You keep it going, man. As long as I've known you, so I I told you this before we started. Like one of the best song, like one of the songs that I like that I never get out of my head is fucked up. That's yeah, like that's my shit. Up. I'm not gonna fake. That's my shit. You know what I'm saying? And even when I heard that song, like seeing your work before that and after that, man, tell the people what have you been doing in the last couple, like in the last year, matter of fact, since yeah. I've last seen you. Let's see. The last year, I took a break from music just to um. I've been out on the streets the last round. As far as I was trying, like I knew what I wanted to do, but I took a year off to find myself as a person. Like I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do exactly with the music. Like what lane you wanted to go through. So that's actually what my um the project I'm about to drop coming up is called the Wildlife. That's what it's about. It's about the last year of my life. Me talking about going from me moving uptown from being homeless to me coming back up, making my way back up to me just getting to hit one right now. I'm just feeling like. I overcame a lot and just like I'm just a motherfucking man. Cause it's a lot that I had to overcome to get to the point that I'm at. You know what I'm okay. saying? Just let them know that I feel like I'm doing this at a peak level. I didn't put myself into this 100%. So tell us about some of the wild shit that you do, man. You know people want to know right. about it. Give us, some, give want, us a little snippet. They want to know, man. It's like, man, listen. The shit I do ain't the type like The shit that people rap about is the real life shit I'm probably out here doing. And you how old? I'm 24. 
out here trying to find my own way. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been given nothing. Everybody who know me know I done put in real live work to get everything that I wanted to get. To have everything that I wanted to have. Everybody always thought I had a big team behind me. It's me, like, three other people who's, like, family to me just help push this other situation. You know what I'm saying? I just give them the information. So I'm do this, that, and the third for me, and they get it done. But it's most part of it, you know what I'm saying? We ain't never had nobody else put up no bread for our situation. We always been self-made. And we like to keep it that way because I believe in family. I believe in looking out for people. And I believe in giving back to people who look out for me. So that just make it easier to know, you know what I'm saying, who to keep around you, who really with the situation, who been here from the hard times, you know what I'm saying? My man 1,000, been 1,000. All stop. day, man. And speaking of which, I'm glad you brought that up. Speaking of hard times, man, we was also talking about how you have to decipher who you have in your life and who not to have in your life, man. You're 24 years old. How do you recognize that, man? Man, it's just, it's just, you go all vibes, man. At the end of the day, when you out here, outside these streets, man, you got to watch it back. You got to know who come with the move, who ain't come with the move. So I try to apply that just to everything I do. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like business is business. You know what I'm saying? If you can make it in one business, you can apply it to the next business. So when it comes to this, I just I just go with vibes what I feel is around me because I had a situation a couple months ago where I had people around me who was helping me move, but they didn't want to help me all the way. They wanted to hold me back. They only want to help me where to help their situation. And so I had to see that. People were telling me some people were jealous of things I do, but I see good in people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I give people the benefit of the doubt. Like they want to see the best. So I overlooked a lot of stuff, but in the long run, they wasn't really on my side, so we had to step up in the situation, reset, keep going, and we don't even better than before now. Oh huh, man, I could contest to that, man. I could contest to that. You never let nobody hold you down. Let nobody hold you back so you can't do it. That was my biggest motivation. People, when I first started rapping, telling me you couldn't do it, or he was trash. All right? You can keep telling me that. I'm going to keep getting better. Mm -hmm. That ain't going to stop me. That ain't going to deter me. Keep going to you saying you're the greatest, and I'm going to get even better just because that's not enough for me. So when... Uh, um, like I said, I'm going to talk about it because, like I said, that's still my shit. Fucked up. Fuck that. So, you know what I'm saying? Back then, you was 20, you was 22, 23 years old. You had to be 22. You was like 22 years old 22, back 21. then. That was, those were the wilder years, now. That was the wild time. And I'm hip. That was I'm the hip. wilder time. Speaking of which, life. you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, some of the things that I... Like, me and you was homies, you know what I'm saying? But your know, Instagram life been popping, you know what I'm saying? And I know you're getting bigger and better opportunities now. And I know you're saying people are looking at you. So, what do you have to change as far as, like, what people... Like, the perception that people have... As far as I being mean, a businessman, I learned the hard way. Perception was everything. So a certain corporate opportunities, I was, I was, I was getting, I was getting opportunities to get, but I couldn't follow all the way through it because you know what I'm saying. They didn't like the look. They only saw what they saw. They didn't know me as a. They know my business aspect. They didn't know me being a good person. And because anybody who knew me would cut the ghosty corporate people and vouch for me, like Cole Harley. Which you know what I'm saying, corporate like I don't know what I see him because they just going off Instagram. So I had to learn how to switch that up and let them see. I let them get more in depth with my life because I really, you know, I'm a private person. So I don't like to put too much on the Instagram, but the turn up. But I started letting them in more, so a lot of things have been changed now. I started showing them more. Tell us about your performance in New York, man. Your man, two performances in New York. York. was crazy, man. I swear. Hold on, hold on. And how old are you now? Me, 24. Talk about 24, it. making moves. Still unsigned, independent, wildlife. One's up in first place at all times, doing it on the P level. You know, I just had to let you know in case you didn't know. Oh, man. But, um, man, we went to New York um, about two weeks. We've been in New York about every week straight, except for last week. We had to come home and show home some love. But um, I think last time we went up there and performed for the Brooklyn Queens Festival mm -hmm. that they had down there. Um, got to meet Smack White, the dude who do the uh, Smack DVDs mm -hmm. for the rap battles. So that was cool. I seen that picture on IG. Man, that was cool to get to me. Like, they showed love out there. Like, when we came out there, like, they said at first, there's people coming with us all bucks. Like, we can tell, you know what I'm saying? You on a whole, we just, when you walk to the building, like, it's something about you. We know you're a star. We see the qualities and shit. Even people come to you and tell you that, like, before you even do anything. Mm -hmm. And if you get on stage and see, like, everybody really turn their heads and see what you want to do. Because, mm -hmm. like, they see you somebody different. And they like that about you. Like, you got a whole different sound than your sound crank. It's like, New York just been showing me hella love. Mm -hmm. So, we going up there any chance we get to perform. Like, we'll be able to July 4th perform for a pool party. July 4th. Get that plug, man. July 4th. You catch us in New York, man. Word to my man, Joey. Details coming real soon. Uh, tell us about your singles. Look, I want to talk about your seppies, because that John rock. Man, that's what you rock. I want to talk about right now. I don't want to talk about that song. Tell me where those stem from. Man, let's see. Just seppies just stem from, um, like I said, I went down, and I, when I started to come back up and get my bird back together. It's like... I got people in the um, model world who's just been getting me out of different stuff. They even give me the fashion show. Like, one of the first things they got me on was Giuseppe's, where I just felt like that shoe just represented who I was. It was just a high class shoe that looked real different. It just had gold on it. 
for me, gold means like royalty. You know what I'm saying? We wear gold. You go. You got the gold gold crown. I always feel like I'm a king. You know what I'm saying? Any any lady who deal with me know me. She treat me like a king, and I treat her like a queen. And that's what they know. It's what it is. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying I keep gold on my body, and when you win a race, I tell y'all it's first place all the time. Oh man, man, you win the gold you medal. Put gold on your medal. So she gold is stunning. Nice <laughs> if you know Giuseppe's, the shoes is worth your rent. So you know what I'm saying? It's just, you ain't gonna see everybody win with a gold bar. So it just said everything about me. Something that's elegant that you ain't gonna see on everybody's feet with the gold, and you winning with it. You know what I'm saying? You want to tell the people what you got coming up other than the shows that you got going on mm -hmm. in New York? Right now, we're pushing this right now single. Look for that on the radio real soon. We went to Atlanta mm -hmm. like um, last month. And I got a link up with the homie Sonny Digital. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Big producer down there, Grammy Award winner. Got mm -hmm. with him. Came with studio. Tracy T came to the studio, met up with him, met a couple of official models down there. Like, Atlanta show how to love, man. Okay. We recorded at Ground Studio, met a lot of people down there. So, we geek to get back. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man Nate from uh, Mixtape Kids. I'm saying shout out to Hood with Rit. You know, whole hood rich down there fucking with us. Mm -hmm. That shit is crazy. You know, you got opportunities like that. You just gotta wait for the right time to flex on them and, and, you know what I'm saying, pull that shit out the bag. I think one of the biggest things that you show, even, you know what I'm saying, that you show is you gotta, you gotta kind of create your opportunities too. Mm -hmm. And even more than that, focus on what you love and that'll be the opportunity to be there before you even look up, man. Um, anybody want to send a shout out to, man? We gotta wrap this up, man. I want to shout out to everybody, man. Whatever you want to do, go out and get it, man. You can't do it. Nobody tell you can't do nothing because you roll live can get it all you gotta do is get up that's all you gotta do man it's too much money out here too many people doing fuck shit it's unnecessary man. all you gotta do is get out say i want this and go and get it if they want to reach my man shay merc how they get to you man, man get me on twitter at shay merc c-h-e-m-e-r-k or get me on the gram chase stunner c-h-e-s-u-t-n-n-a two if you want to hit your boy up hit me up i'm 10 o'clock no that's x-o-c-n-d I'm on Instagram, one love, one thigh, O N E L O V E O N E T H O U, or Mr. One Triple O M R Number One T R I P L E Capital O. I know what it is. He goes left, he goes right, off the backboard, nothing but network. One thousand. Sure. Hey, make sure y'all download that right now on iTunes. Right now. Get that Wild right Life now. EP dropping this July right 2014. Now. Make sure y'all support the home team, DMV. Shay Murray, win this drink to win. 1,000. 1,000. You know it? Turn up PJ with the Miley water. Better watch the step, cause you watch Red and Murky Waters. Yeah.